Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable to thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Please be seated.
In fact, one of the most significant articles recently published spoke of how much we need God with us. The article suggests that we embrace Advent as that necessary ecclesial ritual of recognizing the pain and wreckage of the world. I realize that Christmas Eve is only two days away, but perhaps we can hold just a few moments, hold on to just a few moments and a few days to what Advent bids us to consider, that God with us never intended to take away our sorrow, our brokenness. Rather, God with us pulls us into the shared pain that is our human existence with God, being truly with us and knows intimately. See, I'm not supposed to be hiding away as I have been and I have been. I'm supposed to be here. And this is hard today. Tomorrow, my aunt will be buried in London, England. And, I will, and I'm not there. In fact, God with us is the good news that even our escapism has been exposed by the light. As much as we might want to individualize God or take a break from God by withdrawing from the world as we know it, by hiding out from our families, friends, and the celebrations around us, Emmanuel tells us a different story. God simply will not leave us alone neither to our own devices, nor to avoid accountability to each other. I'm here as proof. It seems that God really does know what is best for us, that being alone can be dangerous to our own selves and to others. See, we need the us, not only so that we know God is solidly behind us, supporting us as one promise of the Incarnation, but also to move us towards easing the pain of the other. Of the other. You're not looking inward, but you're looking outward. See, we need the us, because being in community is not only necessary, but it's also our responsibility. My responsibility. Your responsibility. In other words, God with us is both a promise and a possibility, both presence and potential. God with us means that we are not alone. We are never alone. We are never apart from God, and we are never apart from each other. This God with us also means that we look into the darkness together, honestly, as both wounded by our own humanness and as Reverend Lewis so poignantly expresses, as wielders of it, contributing to our own moments of unkindness or impatience or unselfishness or selfishness. Sadly, I know because I can relate to that too. Our biblical scholar further, Bible scholar further declares that darkness is not going away. However, on that point, I beg to differ. Yes, the coming of Christmas is its own miracle. Because of, the, because of this, it represents coming of the light. The light of Christ. The light which is Christ himself. Which is why God became flesh in the first place. To drive away the darkness. So, today and over this season, together we sing. We light candles, we share meals, we give gifts, and we celebrate to help us to see the sign that is so easily overlooked when we are alone. The sign that is our hope. The sign of the coming of the Christ child, Emmanuel. God with us. As read in Isaiah 7, 14. Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Look. The young woman is with child, and shall bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel. My dear friends and faith family, this good news is especially significant for those of us who during this season 
can feel that darkness around us. Take comfort. The light is coming. The light of Christ. The light that is Christ Emmanuel. And because God is with us, God will never leave us alone. So, I might be a keeper. This season and today, we 